Hey guys, welcome to another episode of... That's great. Hey guys, back with another Music Festival theme video. This is Expectation versus Reality at Music Festivals. So let's just jump into it. Okay, so first up, obviously, the pricing of food, right? You go there and you see that the food is really expensive, right? Like you're about to pay £11 for a sausage and bacon breakfast bat. So this has got to be like gourmet, right? This is going to be like the best bacon and sausage bap you ever had in your fucking life. You're paying 11 quid? That's like restaurant kind of standard for this kind of meal, right? But what you're actually presented with is an unbuttered dry bap, an unsliced sausage, and a single ration of bacon. And you're just kind of thinking, what the fuck did I just pay for? first day of the festival you look around there's some nice looking girls you're like holy shit they look quite hot but then you get to uh, you get to day six and it just kind of looks like you've walked into a massive field full of meth addicts that haven't washed in days back onto food you go up to an ice cream truck right and you order a 99 cone you know a 99p cone you know it's a quid with a flake yeah he hands you the cone is like yeah that's four quid please mate and you just kind of like i think you've i think you've missed the 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 whole the whole concept of a 99 ice cream cone there buddy the obvious one the toilets right you've heard through the grapevine that they're quite Nasty, but surely they can't be that bad. I mean, it's just a toilet, right? Sweet one, geese. Can't be that bad. And you get there and realize you are literally shitting into a silage pit and there seems to be diarrhea on the walls for no reason whatsoever. In fact, you kind of wonder how the hell it got that high on the door. How the fuck is there shit there and there? Hmm. Okay, so you're gonna pack light, yeah? You're gonna pack light because you know that that walk to the fucking camp is long because you've done Reading before, you've done Glastonbury, you've done whatever fucking festival, download, slam, dunk, you've done it before, so you know that that walk to find your fucking camping spot is long. So you don't want your legs to get tired, so you think this year I'm gonna pack light and somehow you forget that even if you've trained in a gym, an 18 crate of beer is gonna weigh down when you've been walking for miles and you just regret even bringing the alcohol in the first place. But the funny thing is, you packed heavy on alcohol, but you've literally bought like two pairs of pants and one pair of socks, one shirt, and one pair of fucking shorts. But the beer still fucking weighs you down. This is a true story, this next one, okay? So the expectation, you go to a burger van, right? And you're like, can I have a cheeseburger? You're off your face, you're smashed. Can I have a cheeseburger? What you're expecting? Of course, sir, one moment. What you're asked is, sure, would you like cheese with that? It's a fucking cheeseburger, mate. Clues in the title. So you're stumbling back to your tent, right? You just watched a load of good music. You're expecting a casual stroll back to your tent. You're expecting to be there very shortly, head on the pillow, right? What you don't expect is to stumble across a man snorting what would appear to be an illegal powdered substance off of the testicles of another passed out man who has recently been shaven from head to toe inexplicably. Expectation, casual stroll. Reality, things no man should really ever see. So your friend's been like, bigging up this band for ages and you're gonna go see him, right? You're gonna go see him, there's no one else on at this moment in time. Yeah, I'll go check out this band, you're expecting this to be all right. Your friend's been bigging them up the whole time. The reality, you stood there, the band's shit. <laughs> Jack! <laughs> You've just been showered in piss and you didn't realize that their song was about to drop like a motherfucker and you just got knocked the fuck out in a pit. You've waded through the crowd to see your favorite band, right? 
Everyone in front of you is the right height, it's all going okay. You're like, this is fantastic, this is gonna be great. And then some chick decides to get on the shoulders of the dude in front. Excuse me, I cannot see. Oh, sorry. And you're just like, I can't see. And last but certainly not least, guys, you just want yourself a nice whiskey and coke, or if you're a pussy like me, you want yourself a nice Disserano and coke, yeah? You're like, God, I'd love to combine this, this, this spirit with this soft drink and just enjoy. You know, you've had enough of cider, you've had enough of beer, you've had enough of heartburn, but you ain't got any cups, so you just gotta be a man and drink it neat from that motherfucking bottle. <laughs> Never gets. I don't know why I got this running gag in the videos. I fucking hate this bit. <laughs> it's like drinking fucking hazelnut perfume. Seriously, I fucking hate this gag. I don't know why I keep doing it. It's not even fucking funny. Whew. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. So this has been expectation versus reality at music festivals. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed. Please leave comments of your best expectations and realities. Please subscribe, please like. Hit us up on Patreon. I am now doing this full time, so um, so yes, Patreon would certainly help. Uh, link in the description below. But main thing is subscribe, like, and enjoy the content. Okay, there's gonna be so much Red and Music Festival content coming your way. We've got some great video ideas. This one actually came to you from Jack Wetting Steel. So thank you, Jack, so much for this uh, video idea. It's been a blast making it, and uh, yeah, we've got lots more coming your way. So please check out the streams. We do a bit of gaming streaming just to chill out and just talk to the the audience. We also do a weekly podcast, which is where it normally divulges into Red and Talk and Music Festival talks. That's what we're all about here, and it's just a great time. And we've been having some absolutely quality quality interaction with the viewers. So yeah, subscribe is a great weekly podcast. There's some great content on the channel so yes subscribe like thank you so much guys i'll see you in the next one bye bye for now